Look at him over there. Just deep in thought, you guys. Thinking about this next Michael's in YouTube video right here. All right, guys, by popular demand. PJ, what are we showing today? 1991, Michael's 50. It's a 91? Yeah. Oh, why was I thinking it was a 2000? It's older than you, Sam. Oh, all right. So guys, I made the YouTube video of me bringing in the Michelson 43 up to Huntington Beach. And then this is the Michelson 50 that I brought back down. I don't know why I thought it was a 2000. 91 makes more sense because the whole like dash upstairs, everything is super cool and retro. Yeah. I don't know about retro. You know what I was? Original? You know what I was thinking the whole time is when I was driving down, I felt like I was um, like Captain Kirk in Star Trek, because I was like, "Wait, did I? That's the right thing, right?" Captain you, Kirk, you Star felt Trek. Like you needed like a guy with pointy ears next to you. That was very logical. Well, I was I was missing you, yeah. So <laughs> no, that shot, no, I was thinking just because the dash on it's so cool because it has those two pillars that go up. Yeah. I All right, like it. we'll I quit. Know, I don't know why we ever changed. We'll quit boring you guys. We'll show you the boat in a sec. Oh, I should have given him the profile shot. Give him a profile. All right, YouTube. Here's your profile shot. 1991 Michelson 50. It's the name Water Hazard. Oh, I like it. That's a good name. Water Hazard. It's got the dinghy up here. But look at this. What a beauty. All right, we're stepping aboard. <clears throat> All right, let's look at what hole number this thing is first. So you want to hear something kind of fun? Yeah, tell me. So Water Hazard is a golf reference, right? Okay. So their new 43, they're going to name it Morning Wood, which I guess is a golf reference too. I was, um, think, I was thinking something else. Right? Oh, you were? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I, what, what were you thinking? Yeah. I don't. Isn't a wood like your wood? Oh, man? okay. I got you. Got Why? you. Did you get your mind out of the gutter, <laughs> This is cool. How this does thing it... actually has three bait tanks, which is pretty bitchin'. Okay, so we got two bait tanks. Good size, good size. Two in transom and one in tackle size. This is kind of nice because this is just starboard, right? So you could like cut on this if you wanted to. Yeah, check this out. A third bait tank? Third bait tank. Oh, this is going. To... Oh, this would. I think this would fit probably. How many white claws? <laughs> oh, you, you could ask Aaron about that. You, tell us. you could ask Grant Robards about that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and I wanted to give a shout out to Brett, James, I think, and Ron. I think the, these were all people who commented on the YouTube video when Sam took the 43 up and said he was bringing this back. They wanted to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this boat. So, good call, thanks, good guys. call. You inspired us. I really like Is this the Infinity? It's similar, but it doesn't look like teak, so, it, but it is like a foam. I really like it though, because especially like right now, it's cooking in the sun and the teak gets hot. So this, I imagine barefoot would be quite nice. Yeah, it's nice stuff. Sink, it's nice having the controls back here. Perfect. PJ's getting a new phone, so we're not caring too much about that one. Um, so really nice interior. It, uh, they have wow. a new carpet, new upholstery, New window coverings. That mirror is timeless. That was original to the boat. That mirror is all time. Yeah. Is this, did they have some sort of drinking game that they would play with that or? I think so, but this is pretty cool. So he had this built and check it out. It just slides over the ottoman that was there. Oh, wild. I know, isn't that cool? Wait, so he had this made? Yeah, the ottoman was there and he had this built slide over the top so him and his buddies could play their drinking game. All right, and for everybody thinking like, all right, well, how's that going to hold up when it's rough out? I brought this boat all the way down from Huntington and had no idea that that was even like that and had no issues. No, that thing's stable. Yeah. Um, this yeah, is huge. So Look at this whole window slides. Yeah. Big TV. New refrigerator in the salon, new refrigerator in the galley. I love this little like cocktail table, but it's through bolted so it can go up and down. Totally. So you can kind of lounge out on this if you want to. Um, the mirror is all time. All my animal lovers out there. Pump back. That's nice. On morning wood. <laughs> uh, or I guess this is water hazard. Water hazard. So is the was he a big golfer or something? I think they I think they enjoy golfing. Yeah. Is this? It wasn't owned by Phil Nicholson, right? 
It's no. just it's just Mickelson Yance. It's just well, we we call it <laughs> Michelson. Thank you. Thanks for bringing that up, Sam. You guys yeah. can comment and yeah, let us like, know. If oh, I don't wrong. have the breakers on. Tell us we're wrong and that it's pronounced Mickelson, not Michelson. Wow, this is actually really nice. I know. No, this is they they really took care of this boat. Wow, Someone look how big it. that window is too. So it's cool. You have another door. Oh, well, it's all latched. Did you see the whole number? Is it seventeen? I didn't see the whole number. I think it's seventeen. I love that they do the teak inside of here. It looks like all new toilets. Yeah. So they went through, did all new toilets. Probably did all new plumbing and stuff with it too. Might as well. All the head hoses are new. It smells great in here. Yeah. I love that they carpeted the stairs all the way up. I know. Very comfortable. You can hear the dinghy. Oh yeah, the dinghy's okay. squeaking on the outside of the hole right there. Um, this thing is in phenomenal shape i didn't even go on the inside of it when i brought it down probably should have checked something on the inside but it's all good wow look at the little window that's in there huh not that funny oh that's awesome when you're hanging out in your closet you can see how did you show them the pantry not the pantry i mean pantry people Here, love on. people love a good pantry i mean oh dude that is a really really nice pantry right there that's a lot of emergency provision it MREs is right there it is cans of of uh what's under there this is something every boat should have and very few of them do manual bilge pump so if you were ever in a scenario where you lost all power and you were taking on water you can still pump your bilges out captain goes down with the boat yeah. one of those things you hope you ever never have to use it and as far as i know nobody ever has this is cool so you could put like this is designed for one of those dual voltage um uh norcold deep freeze uh, deep freeze yeah chest freezers this is so super nice this right there yeah this boat is is really really nice for right. this age and i'm gonna lift up Oh, are you putting it down or and then sit back there you go thank you thank you new reefer propane cooktop on this one so where's the propane tank in the bridge oh that's a good idea I don't know. Somebody comment that knows more than we do about propane. Propane. Well, propane's heavier than air, so it's kind of tough on a boat. Oh, I was thinking it was like helium, so it would just like no. float off if it, it settles, was. But it's in a um, huge sink down here, though. Yeah, it's in a uh, compartment that's sealed up. Got you. Tons of storage, even a little drain down there, which is nice. So I think that's insulated, so you could put. Yeah, it looked like you could make like a little ice chest out of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Under salon? Yeah. Yeah, this one's like the old two part stair opening, so it's a little, it takes a sec here. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't even think I've seen one like this. This is pre my time. Okay. 91. I was negative, four years old. You were just a twinkle in somebody's eye, I think. Yeah. That's what you were. Wow, this is super cool. There's still tons of room. You got your inverter right there in the corner. I know. All the batteries are um, within, I think, two years. Nice. It looks like he even has an extra set of batteries for the bow thruster that they added. Yeah, that's one super nice thing about this boat, too. Normally, the Michelson 50s of this vintage do not have thrusters. Yeah. So. Thrusters are huge. Big thruster guy. Depends on who you talk to. The really manly sea captains, the seamen, the, the true, manly ones. True seamen. True seamen. They don't. They don't need a thruster. At least that's what they tell me. What about? Did we get the cool wooden whale and the welcome aboard? Yep. Does that thing actually float or? Yeah, that's for uh, small chihuahuas. Small chihuahuas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not betting my life on that one. Take us upstairs, Captain.
So, pretty much same fly bridge, other than the really cool. The enclosure is in amazing shape. Helm towers that Sam mentioned. I love it. I know, it does. It feels like you're aboard the uh, Enterprise. Right? Light speed. Right? Yeah. And just for nostalgia, they left the old uh, Robertson autopilot. Wait. I think this is the new one. Okay. So that, that Robertson still works. That's what I brought the boat down on. Oh, I think that might. Override it? I was very confused, but the boat, it handled amazing. So I wasn't that worried about it. Isn't this an autopilot? I don't know, probably. I figured it said go to. My favorite thing that yeah. I've been, if I can't do a delivery and PJ can't do it, we'll hire a captain. And we've had a couple captains now that I've talked to and they go, something will go wrong with the engine and they go, Sam, I'm a captain, not a mechanic. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Like, you have to figure it out, man. Sink. I love the sink right there. Refrigerator. I know, it's super, super cool. Cup holder. These really do it for me though. I know, I like them. We're gonna have to talk to the old guys and see if we can bring this back. Cause this is just like, with the if we put new, the, all the new electronics in here, it would look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, these things are, I mean, look at, just ergonomically. Just cool. Unpleasant. I mean, not. Just not really, pleasant, really but... cool. PJ, come on, man. You trying to sell this thing? No, they're, 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 super, they're super cool. <laughs> just... All right, what year is that one? It's an 06. That one looks good, too. Yeah, that one looks good. Cool. The cool thing is, if you compare these two boats, there's not that many differences, really. I mean, you know, we, we refine the staircase to the bridge. So okay. instead of a ladder, you have a staircase. Obviously, the engines are different. Uh, this has 3208 cats, which are were great engines for their time, are still good engines, easy to get parts for. Anybody that knows anything about diesels can work on them. Um, but it's the same flybridge mold, basically the same mold on the hull and the deck and everything. So, you know, if you were to go inside the two boats, you aside from some layout differences, you wouldn't. You don't get these so sweet. Different. I'm calling these the pillars or the arches, man. This are kind of reminds me of McDonald's if it was like. Wah, wah. They are actually cool. I mean, they're super cool. And you got tons of different. tons of room for storage yeah, you inside got a lot of, of them, storage under them, which is great. Yeah, got all those manuals. In and there. I really like like when I brought this down and I was sitting there by myself, I felt like I was like the king of the world because there's no other that's probably why we, we helm changed chair. it because now most of the boats have two helm chairs um this one's nice that you sit low you can still see everything over the bow yeah. but having the low center of gravity you're not rocking back and forth yeah no i mean the visual right here is fine you see everything cool well what else do we have to show these guys so it's got a davit it's got uh a dinghy that is not on yet we're we're figuring that part out because um, the dinghy from the 43 is going on this boat and vice versa so um, they swapped them out no big deal out. yeah and if you have a dinghy at home right now and you're thinking about buying this boat then we'll just put your dinghy on the front of it and then you'll have two dinghies aft station i mean who, i i really like need, this boat who doesn't need two dinghies i couldn't agree more Man. and you guys this thing ran strong it probably took me six or seven hours to get down from huntington Actually, no, not that long. I'm exaggerating, but this thing ran great for like five hours at like 80% load. All right. Well, I, I think anything else you want to show them, Sam? I don't think so. Oh, they're going to want to see the engine room. Does it have hatch lifts? It does. Oh, let's show them the... Oh, that's cool. Oh, hit it. Okay. This mat's over it. we got to move the mat. This mat? Yeah, here, here, go to the back and all. Why don't we just do this side? Because it looks cooler for you both. Okay. No. Door. Good call, good call. Always close the transom door. That is one other thing we improved on the new ones. Yeah. The door can be open. Yeah. Transom door and the stairs on the 50s. They clear. Getting better every time. So not the fastest hatch lifts ever, but they're pretty quiet. At least they're not the super loud ones. 
They're not the ones that sound like they're grinding rocks. No. Oh, wow. How cool. Dude, the engines look great. These are great engines. I love who somebody spent some serious time wrapping all the exhaust right there. Yeah. But I love it. It looks just like a Harley Davidson exhaust, you know? Generator right there in the center underneath. The oh. nice thing is if you show them here, Sam, come back and show them looking aft. You can see your rudder parts and rudder posts and everything. Oh, it's kind of like, dark. It's, no. Anyway, no, there's a ton see. of space to get to everything. There's not this engine room for the age of the boat and stuff doesn't have a bunch of jumbled crap all over. It's it's open and get to everything. This is a great boat. Great boat. All right, how much? Two fifty nine. Two fifty nine. Yes. Somebody come write us a check. We'll get you out of here. Lickety split. Lickety split. You can take it back up to Huntington. You can take it wherever you want. But this is a great boat. This Mex is Mexico. This would be a great, great. Cabo boat because you got to remember these Michelson 50s hold a thousand gallons, 1,000 gallons of fuel. So if you're only doing eight to ten knots, that's all the way down to Cabo on one tank. I have a uh, I have a customer who's buying a 50 right now, an older one, and he's going to use it for strictly for cruising in the Sea of Cortez, going out to all the different islands and stuff. That's so rad. And the reason that he wanted the Michelson was because of the comfort and livability. It's it's like a condo on the water. You have a thousand gallons of fuel. You have a, an amazing hull design, so the boat can take whatever the, the Pacific can throw at it. Um, just a super comfortable boat. So, if you're in the Sea of Cortez and you're fishing and you're cruising, I mean, there are literally islands with nobody on them. There's mangroves that you can drive the dinghy through, crystal clear water. I mean, it's it's amazing. Let's fire it up and go. I want it. I'd, I'd, I'd be all over it. This is something that I really miss doing on the new boats too. You don't see too many of the new boats that have the sea rails like that. Are they even called sea rails? These are like the rough weather, like when you're coming in and it's just- Overhead. Yeah, and you gotta be hanging on to something. Yeah. I remember being a little kid and doing backflips on these and my dad was always like, oh, you're gonna rip it out of the ceiling. It can hold like- At least 40 Come pounds. on, let's see a pull up. Oh, really? One pull up. Oh, dad's gonna be pissed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It can officially your, hold one. a fifth grader girl right there. <laughs> Just nice kidding, PJ. You said about me today. It's dude. a compliment. Fifth grade girl, I'll take it. All 95 pounds of PJ was <laughs> supported by this one wood beam. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And somebody come down and buy this thing. This is a sweet boat. Otherwise, PJ and I. The feed our kids. Not that. I was going to say the next feed YouTube video you'll see of us. We'll be down in the Sea of Cortez doing what you guys should oh, be yeah. doing on it. Yeah. Yeah, let us know what you don't like, but more importantly, let us know what you like about this video. What is there not to like? Oh, about the video? Yeah, because we thrive off. They're like, oh, the two, the guy filming and then the other guy that you're well, filming, here, here, a couple just, annoying guys. We got to give them something they like. There you go, ladies. Comment on that. Just kidding. All right, looking good. Very high tech lock on these Michelsons. Another slight improvement on the new ones, the handle, but. But hey. we'll get that fixed for you when you buy it. Don't worry about it. No, there's nothing wrong with it. That is high security. A pair of bolt cutters would have a hell of a time with that. All right. And we out. Another day, another vlog. Video. Peace out, guys.